Hi everybody, guess what? It's a sunny, freezing Tuesday morning here in Auckland. And if you're feeling the cold anything like me, right now you wish you had a nice big cup of fresh veggie soup. But a quick shout out to the Kiwis that won. Yeah, go, go the Kiwis! <laughs> that America's Cup is coming back our way, so we're all going to be out there with our red socks in a few years time. We don't even know when, right? But anyway, today is freezing. It is a beautiful sunny day out there, well, mostly, but it is really cold. And... I don't know about you, but I really like a nice warm soup full of all the stuff that we should, that we need for our body on a day like today. But I'm also really lazy and I can't stand by a pot and cook and cook and then smash it up and then push it. It's just too much. So today, so this is us. We're gonna just do quick live feed um, about a soup maker. Now I know you've got pots and I know you've got a stove, but today is about this dude and why we spent, wait for the price tag, two hundred and nineteen dollars on a soup maker that's what we're in so if that's interesting for you guys and you want to know if it's worth investing two hundred nineteen dollars stay tuned otherwise this might not suit, suit you today but you're going to share a recipe aren't you yeah so i'm going to show you guys a quick recipe and how you can use this guy he's really easy to use so i'm just going to go through the initial cook thing and then we might just log off and i'll come back on and show you turning it on okay so who's going to benefit and so why should they buy this this is an awesome little gadget for busy mums so full-time workers can you please pop that in the comments? So, Mita, can you do me a favor and just put this as great for busy mums? Busy mums, full timers. You know, you're working full time hours and you don't have time to necessarily cook every night. Um, single men, this is great for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't want to cook and you just want an easy meal and it's done when you get home. Well, this is your wife, all in one glass and metal thing. She'll cook for you, you don't have to do anything. And mate, that's not even <laughs> high maintenance. Yeah. Um, for those of you who maybe live on your own and you just don't really like cooking big meals that only you're going to eat, this could be great because you can cook like three or four days worth of soup in one go. If you're not much of a cook and you can't be bothered with finding the hardcore recipes and doing the prep and blah blah blah, blah you can just throw your veggies and your stuff straight in there, turn it on, walk away, 20 minutes later you've got a cooked soup and it's... You can make it chunky or you can make it smooth and it just does it all for you. So, so can you quickly explain that to us? So for people that want yeah. to go out and do it. So if you, you turn this guy on, you won't obviously go on unless everything's in place. And you can choose what you want to do. So basically you can choose a chunky soup, like you push the button there, and it does a 30 minute cooking cycle and it will blend it at the same time but only a little bit so it still stays chunky. You can go for smooth soup, same amount of time, but it will blend it more so it's smoother. You can even make sauces and um, gravies and stuff in here. So you put We've less liquid. tried that. Yeah, you just put less liquid in, obviously, and it's a shorter period of time. You can crush ice, which we like, and you know, it does it for like a whole minute so that it's pulverized or whatever. And then you can also adjust, uh, adjust the temperature. So if you want it to be really hot or you want it to be warm. And then the cool thing is if 30 minutes, if you don't think 30 minutes is enough time or it's too long, you can adjust the time here. You just press the plus button, you go all the way up to 60 minutes and then we'll start it again at one. You can also pulse. So if you only just want to put something in there and then make it more, more, um, what do you call, blended, you just hold the pulse button down over there and we'll just grind it down until it's smooth. So, and it's, you just press go and it's done. So fast, so easy, you don't so do anything. can you, like, so if you made it now, so you have to be home to use it. You need to be home to turn it on. So yep. what we would do, quite often do, we'll come home from work, especially if it's in the evening, we'll come home from work, we've just done class, I'll take all the veggies, I'll throw them in, I'll throw in the liquid, I'll turn it on, we'll go downstairs, we'll have a shower, while you're getting dressed after your shower, you hear this thing going, that's when it's like totally blending everything up, and you'll walk upstairs after 20, 30 minutes, depending on the timer, I usually go 30 minutes, and you've got cooked soup, you just pour it in a bowl, soup's up, so easy, it's worth $220 to me, because I'm not going to slave over pots making a soup for half an hour to an hour. So how much are they normally? This one, I think it was like, it was like normally $350, it was $349, so it was on sale at Farmers for $220. So we jumped on it because the last one we had died. We, we what I suggest fire. is don't kale it. If you're going to chuck kale <laughs> in there, you've got to chop it into small bits because the kale got wrapped around the blady thing at the bottom and it totally blew the engine out or something. So kale in long strips is not good in a soup maker, but everything else we've used so far has been awesome. So, well, I'm How many soups would we have a week? Probably 10? Oh, okay. we, we eat soup almost almost every day now in winter. Yeah. We have soup, if not for lunch, you might have it for dinner, and we just swap it around. It makes quite a lot, like you get um, almost two liters of soup. Nice. So if you're, for two of us, like for a family, that's probably one meal, to be honest, yeah. one meal. 
But if it's two of you, you can at least, we get at least three each out of one of these. So why would, why would people purchase that? Because that could be over budget for a lot of families out there. Yeah. Why would people buy that instead of just using the stove top and cooking it? I just think it's ease. For me, it's ease of use. Um, yep. If you don't have, um, if I don't have pots really, I've got frying pans and stuff, so I don't have big pots to be able to do it. Yeah, and the burning. And the burning. Factor. So I would for us never it's burn. Convenience. Yeah, this you can't burn it. It's just easy. It knows exactly what to do and it does it for you. So here, if I if I walk away and have a shower while I'm cooking a soup, I'm going to burn the thing. So can you so. just chuck your vegetables into that? Yeah. So. Okay, this you is as an example. We're just going to show what we're going to yeah. what our soup is for today because we've got a meeting at I think one o'clock today. So we just need to quickly come home, have a quick feed, right? We're in and out most days. Uh, so we're so going to make spinach. What's in this one? Bok choy, leek, leek, um, leek. baby spinach leaves as well. Baby That's spinach is going. Oh, well, he's not going off. So he's for my shakes and my soup today. And we usually chuck in like these are easy. You just put in a broccoli so it fills up with more veggies. Broccoli so that's sword. got broccoli, um, antioxidants. What's I don't know what's in there. Broccoli, cabbage. And, and the then, other thing that we've added in for us, which um, a lot of people wouldn't, or they could, or they add more. We because uh, we're on an LCHF diet, so that means our carb content's a lot lower. We have pumpkin, so we can either have butternut or pumpkin. So we're going to use half of that today and pop that in there and that'll probably serve us for maybe the soup for this week or yeah. we use a whole one like that how much pumpkin did we use well this one for a big soup if we're going to do all of the cons all of the stuff in there we could probably put all that in because that's only a quarter of a pumpkin so just chopped it up into small pieces and that will last so if you bought a whole pumpkin that's like four soups so, so this is a quarter want to keep it lower carb they could just go less less yeah all right so that's not going to spike our sugar levels, so it's not major. And that's just got garlic and ginger and leek in there and some onions as well. And, and then some of you might want potato and kumara yeah. or just put whatever, whatever you works for you, you whatever your it. specific lifestyle is. So then what I do is I just, I like to just semi pre-cook some of these veggies so that all the herbs and spices go in. Can you so just explain what you've got in there? I've got um, grated ginger and garlic in there with some coconut oil. So and then garlic, ginger, coconut, coconut oil. oil. Hey Georgie! And We're just going to quickly go through a recipe now, so for those of you that want to have a great soup recipe. And then the other um, thing I like to add in there is some um, mild curry. We don't like it very spicy, so if you like it spicy, you could chuck in um, like a normal curry, or you could put in chili flakes or something. And we put in some mild curry, so about one and a half teaspoons. That was a tablespoon. Yeah, there we go. And you just cook that up a little bit. So I'm just trying to, trying to get used to the stovey thing. Okay, so we're just going to mix that together. And then I put all these veggies in and just cook it for a little bit. It doesn't have so to be fully cooked. So can you just go through what's in there? Turmeric? Turmeric, grated turmeric. There's about a tablespoon of grated turmeric in there. Yes, yeah, so that's fresh turmeric. Yep, some grated garlic. I put in there, crushed some garlic and chuck that in, two garlics. And about a tablespoon of mild curry powder and, I don't know, some oil, okay. coconut so oil. Just quickly then, because we're not going to worry about showing you guys everything, but those are... So bok choy's gone in there. Leeks gone in. Leeks. Well, oh, Mitty's put on their single men. Well done, Mitty. Yep. <laughs> single men, this is great. And I'm going to chuck in these. So, Mum, this is another good thing for sports teams. So, if you've got kids that play sport on Saturday, I mean, seriously, that's a whole bag of broccoli slaw. Broccoli slaw. So, broccoli, cabbage, there's a bit of carrot in there. Or you can smell the spice already, yep. You just kind of mix that all in. And once this falls down, you can add the spinach in as well. And you just want all those curries and spices to go through the veggies. So they are cooked a little bit before you put it in here. If you're not using spices, then you can just put the veggies straight in there raw, turn it on with your stock, because you've got to add stock to oh, add liquid. Good. Can you just put that in? So we just add stock? So we add, stock? we add stock, and in this recipe we add coconut cream as well. Yeah. All right. And then, we just, then you just turn it on. But if you're just doing like a veggie base and there's no curry or no spices, then you don't have to pre-cook it. But I just find it tastes better. It's like I always find with these, they taste better roasted, so I prefer to roast it with some garlic and some oil and then put it in. It just has a different flavour. But it just okay. depends on what you like. So can we show them the end product then? So once it's in, we'll just video and we'll show you what this little beast yeah. does. So when we put it all in, I'll turn it, we'll, we'll go on again and we'll just video it and show you how we turn it on and what happens, eh? So the three reasons then basically it's convenience. Convenience. Um, time. 
time so you can get other things done while you cook, your soup is cooking. And our third one is because we burnt soup on the stove so many times, <laughs> right? That was our third one. Yeah, and if you're we not put a cooking in here, person, as much as it. If you're not a cooking person, yes, it's a gadget, but if you're not a cooking person, we love gadgets. You know, like real cooks will want to slave over the stove and be there and be a part of that whole experience. Whereas I just want to eat something that tastes really good and it's pretty easy and easy to clean and yeah, then it's just done. So can we just, these are our veggies. That's going to, that'll go in there and that's going to be ending up in that little blender. So thanks for jumping on board today. We'll show you, we'll share the recipe for, for you guys later. If you are looking at them, I know farmers had them on sale last weekend at $219. Not a necessity for everybody's kitchen. But for mums, it might be a lifesaver. For sports team mums out there, it might be a lifesaver. And if you just want to make lots of soup that's not going to burn, right, that might be a lifesaver. But it might not be economical for some of you guys out there. Thanks for jumping on. We'll share the recipe for with you guys later. Thanks for jumping in, Georgie, Mary, Ellen, Colleen. Thanks, guys. See you all.